Hi, my name is Tunisa Mesidakcha. I am an ethnic Uyghur. Today I am going to talk about involuntary organ harvesting in Chinese occupied East Turkestan by the Chinese government. Consider this China performs far in excess of 10,000 organ transplants per year, depending on China's report. And even that number is political. Yet, there were virtually no voluntary organ donation system in China before the year of 2015. Even after 2015, voluntary organ donation almost did not exist in China. In the USA, the median wait time for a liver in 2006 was 321 days. But in China, hospitals have been aggressively recreating transplants towards promising that waving a few tens and thousands of dollars, they could get a kidney, a lung, a liver, pancreas, or heart within a couple of weeks or within a couple of hours. How are the Chinese government able to locate living donors of the same blood type within a few hours and able to take organs on demand? The Chinese authorities say that the organ comes from mostly death row inmates who are convicted of capital crimes, but there aren't nearly enough death row inmates in China to supply the groves of the massive, unbelievable organ transplant industry after the year of 2000. Noting this disparity, researchers conducted investigations into the true source of the organ and they conduct, concluded that tens of thousands of innocent political prisoners, including Uyghurs, especially in the last few years, is massive involuntary organ harvesting from the Uyghurs. Also, Falun Gong practitioners, Tibetans, and host Christians have been killed so their organ could be harvested and sold for profit. Study shows that after the last few years, China's massive organs transplant industry grows so fast that they are a number one organ transplant industry right now in the world. There are no words to adequately explain the severity of the this organ harvesting industry in China. As we know, a lot of evidence shows that the ages of 8 to 65 Uyghurs now have all their biometric data are taken by the Chinese Communist Party and link it to their ID card. We believe this is to facilitate involuntary organ donations in Chinese occupied East Turkestan, so-called in Xinjiang. Every few hundred meters have police stations right now and there is a total police and technology sur surveillance state. There are voice recognition, facial recognition, fingerprints, all the high technologies is used to oppress and genocide of Uyghurs by the Chinese Communist Party. In this situation, under this total surveillance state, how come thousands of Uyghur kids are missing every day? Once Chinese police take anyone from their homes, street, and at work, or anywhere, they disappear, and other family members are never able to see them again. Last few weeks ago in social media shows with the video, one Chinese lady in Japan needed to transplant a heart uh, urgently due to her illness, and Chinese hospital offers her three hurts in three days. Is it very right? This is very shocking news for me and most of the Uyghurs people around the world. In order to transplant her and a liver, someone has to be die. Chinese Communist Party is a terrorist organization and they have been killing millions of Uyghurs in order to get profit, money, and hatred towards other nations who are not Chinese. Also, Chinese Communist Party has been killing thousands of Tibetans, Falun Gong practitioners, and host Christians. I hope 
you all take action to stop this tyranny. Silent helps no one. Silent feeds the tyranny like Chinese Communist Party. Thank you.